what's up guys so I'm gonna start doing a few programs from previous ICSC papers in order to get you guys to understand how exactly it is you're supposed to write programs and how do you approach a program where you have you don't know exactly what you're supposed to do and maybe you're even clueless what you do when that happens so I'm, I'm gonna teach you the basics of sort of how exactly you're, you're supposed to deal with that and how you're supposed to write programs. So I'm going to start with this um, ICSC 2014 program um, which basically says that given a number you have to find the sum of the digits, the product of the digits, then you're going to add the sum and the product of the digits and if that is equal to the number then you have this sort of special two digit number and if if it is so then you you print the message special two digit number otherwise you print not a special two digit, two digit number so how are we gonna start um the first thing you should probably do is declare your variable to store the number so i'll call that int number you should then go on to declare a constructor don't know what a constructor is then and this will all be specified in the paper if it isn't then it's completely up to you it's it's um, up to your discretion what you want to use so I'm gonna use this as a default constructor where I set the number to zero if I have no argument otherwise I'm gonna use a parameterized constructor now what I'm doing here is I'm writing this dot number equal to number what, what exactly that means is this dot number refers to the instance variable and you learn this when you learn about objects whereas just number refers to the parameter provided to this constructor as input now I'm gonna take the I'm gonna use scanner class for input because I'll, I'll need to write an input function so I'll write public void input scanner sc this is basically you should know this by now if you are taking the ICX exam you should probably know how to take input so you just enter a message to the user enter the number and you can just go like number is equal to sc dot next in now we are going to have a function to actually do the checking so it's always good to decompose your code into different sort of modules that perform a given task for you so I'll have one that gives me the sum of the digits and the sum of the sum of digits and product of digits so um, I'm just gonna call that compute and this will probably be given to you in the paper so you don't need to worry about it I'm gonna take one variable for sum another for product so let me name that better sum equals 0 product equals 1 why am I starting from 1 because if I start product from 0 and I multiply that by anything I'll get 0 instead of what I actually should be getting and I'm gonna make a copy of the number so that I don't lose that so digit extraction code is basically you start from the rightmost digit you extract that digit you add that to your sum or product or whatever you completely truncate that digit from the number and then you continue this process till your number is greater than zero so you keep getting the remainder you keep doing mod 10 and um, dividing also by 10 so what I'm gonna do is int digit is equal to copy mod 10 so when you do mod 10 you get the rightmost digit and I'll do sum plus equal to digit product into equal to digit so this is just finding the product, product and the sum of digits and now I'm going to divide the number by 10 and I'm doing that because I need to truncate the rightmost digit because I've already used it so at the end of this process I will have the sum of digits and the product of digits and I need the sum of these two values so I'm just going to return sum plus product now I'll write say a boolean function 
check is special and all I do here is return or let me make it simpler if number equal to equal to compute so what does this code do this code essentially just checks whether the inputted number is equal to the sum of the sum of its digits and the product of its digits and that sounds like a bit of a mouthful but that's exactly how the product is uh, how the question is worded so i'm gonna print system dot out dot print ln and you have to follow what they wanted to print so i'm just gonna copy that special two digit number else i'm just gonna print not a special And the last thing you're gonna wanna do here is probably if they ask you to, you're gonna wanna write a main function. And you can use string args if you want. You can put a static in here. This is completely a matter of preference. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Because you're using BlueJ, so essentially it doesn't matter. If you were running java from the command line it would matter so let's say we do use the static and let's say we create an object icsc 2014 object is equal to new icsc 2014 and let's say we don't give it any input here and what we do now is we call object dot input and then we call object dot is special and I have made a mistake here instead of making this void I made it boolean so initially I thought I would return a value but that's not necessary so let's just make this void and this should run so the input given here is 59 sum of digits of 59 is 5 plus 9 which is 14 and the product of its digits is 45 if you add those you do indeed get 59 let's hope that our code gives us the same answer so I'm gonna call void main and let me give it 59 and it's a special two digit number. Now this is obviously not enough. Let's try a number that may not work. So it says 23 is not a special two digit number. So the sum of digits of 23 is five and the product of digits of 23 is six. And 5 plus 6 is 11 so the code does indeed probably work let's try another example let's try a single digit number so in this case itself it's not a special two digit number why because the sum of digits of a single digit number is 8 uh, of the number 8 is 8 and the product is also 8 so when you add those you will actually get two times that number so it's not a special two digit number so that's pretty much it for this program it's fairly simple just some digit extraction some calculations and then a simple check so if you have any questions any any queries just post in the comments i'll try my best to answer it and um if you like this video if it's helping you then like subscribe share it with your friends i know exam season is on so it's it's definitely going to help other people i hope so share it and let's move on to the next problem which i will show you in another video